Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited that you're here. My name is Imani. If you haven't seen my other videos, check them out. Today I'm gonna to be talking about something that I don't really talk about too much, and that is what I do, like what I actually do in my own personal life and professional life. And that is I am a graduate student, an online graduate student at NYU. I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Also, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and tell a friend who's looking into an online program possibly about this video. Just share it, share it, share it. I really appreciate it. Let's get right into it. I am in graduate school through NYU um, for speech language pathology. My schedule has changed so much throughout the program. And I can say that this is like a positive thing about being in an online program. You can change your schedule. You can still do other things while you're in the online program. And especially depending on what program you're in, like if you're doing something that doesn't require um, clinicals at all, then like you can probably work throughout your entire time in the program. For me, I do have to change my schedule now. So I, I think my path has definitely been, it's been crazy, it's been nuts, but it's worked for me. And honestly, I am still like learning and I still don't know how it's gonna go in the future. I'm figuring it all out, so. A lot of people probably wanna know why online? Like, why did you choose that? The flexibility. Um, I love being able to work while I was in my program especially living in New York, in New York City now, like, there's really not an option not. It's like a legit helicopter right now. I think he's done. I think with my situation, I've always known that I need to work. Whether I was getting a scholarship for my program, or working like I need to be able to support myself um, and that is huge for me so for me being able to work being able to work full-time and then go to school part-time is just what was best for me because of my situation people have different reasons there's people in my program who are moms or who are starting like a second or a third career like meaning like like 10 years down the line type of career. So there's different reasons for everyone. I think that one of the main reasons though, the things that I hear throughout, is that it is just not sustainable anymore to just not work and to go back to school. So um, that was huge for me, but if you're interested in speech language pathology, this is something just to keep in mind. Um, these programs are super small, so you probably already know this. You probably have looked into programs and you've seen that there's like, 20 seats, 25 seats, and I'm sure that it's the same way with other um, programs and other professions as well. There's, especially with my field, there's not a lot of people who are actually teaching the content in the field. There's a lot of people who are practicing. So what it does is it leaves the students who actually wanna learn to become speech pathologists with like, these are the students and these are the teachers that can actually teach you because everybody else up in here is just practicing and living their best life. So um, for me, I really, really wanted to get into a program. I didn't wanna wait until I was 10 years into a different career. Um, I knew that I wanted to do it right away and be a speech pathologist by the time I'm 27 or 28. So um, the reason why I went into my program is because an online program will offer more seats because there are no actual seats. Like there doesn't need to be a professor for every class who needs to be there at five at, five at night and then six and then seven. Like the, that whole like structure is out the window with an online program because professors can run it from their home. They can do it from anywhere, from their office, from wherever. So the flexibility of the program in that I was able to get a seat in a really great program that like, honestly, I don't know if I would have gotten a seat in the program like on campus because if you're choosing 20 people and my grades aren't like crazy 4.0 which they're not so that you know my GRE is not like amazing so those are things that I took into consideration when I got accepted to the program I
yeah, that that was important for me, and it may be something that's important for you as well in your future career or profession. So I gave you guys a lot of pros within the program, things that I love about it, um, you know, things that things that I really value about being in an online program. But there are some things that I don't like, and I'm just going to be real about it. I think the number one thing for me, because I am a social person, I like talking to people, I like relating to people, I like complaining to the girl sitting in the chair next to me about our project, like, I just do, like, I, that's just a part of school for me. You don't have that person you can turn to and ask a question. Um, you know, it's very, very different and that social aspect of school is totally gone. So I would just say that, you know, even though there are ways, of course, like there's email and, you know, we all see each other on a computer screen every night. So you kind of get to know people that way. But um, even though there are like small ways to socialize, the one con about being in an online program is definitely the lack of support that you feel around you. And honestly, no matter how hard that our program tries, we've made like a Facebook page and like done things like that. It's just like really hard to gather people who are all over the country and have different lives. There is a portion of my program that's built in where we do need to travel to NYU. I did that this summer and it was really cool. I met my professors. I met a lot of the women who I've been in classes with for like years. Now I finally met them face to face. So there is that built into the program. For us, it's called our immersion, but it's probably different depending on what program you're in. Um, so that is a way to kind of socialize. But even with that, um, you know, it's hard. People have families. Some people traveled here with their families. So they, you know, it, you know it, it's just different. That is just the only thing. It's just different. And you have to be creative about reaching out to people, getting to know other people, building relationships. Um, and not only with the other people who are in class with you, but also with your professor. One tip, I wanna leave you guys with one tip for applying to an online program. I would definitely do it. I would definitely put your feelers out there for whatever online program you're interested in. I know that NYU also has a social work online program, which is very much the same as the speech pathology online program. So, um, you know, a lot of schools are coming up with different ways to for people to learn and for people to get degrees. And I think that that is amazing because the world is changing and no one has time to, you know, stop what they're doing to go back to school anymore. I would just say to persevere, um, don't give up, to seek advice wherever you can find it, to get creative and to make the best of it because before you know it, it's gonna be over. And honestly, that's hard for me to say because I am so ready to be done. Like, guys, I'm itching. I can't wait to just finally, finally do this. This is something that I've wanted for a really long time. Um, but, you know, it takes time. It, it just takes time. So be patient with yourself and yeah. So guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate you tuning in to another one. This video is something different and I wanted to talk a little bit about my program and being a student because I don't talk about that enough. So if this is something that you'd like to hear more about, if you have questions for me or anything about the program, leave me a comment below. I would love to share with you so that you can go on and do all the things that you want to do and fulfill your dreams. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Are you done, sir?